will set the record. So here the data with source is supposed to be DBCon and and I'm going to store variable that is a count of the records and this is update statement I'm going for insert into AMP values I can put the values for here So this value, these values are put here and I can go for one more statement that is called SQL query. Again the data source is supposed to be result and I am going for select store from EMP. That's it. And the next thing is I am going to create a table and present the record which is available in that uh, ELP table. So here I can go with ER and PD and we can go for the first statement as we have did in our previous tutorial so which is a code tag for each so variable supposed to be column and item is supposed to be result dot rows I'm using this for each statement I'm closing here and again I'm going for the code tag that is called out and value is supposed to be again that uh, where dot id I am going for I am going for the name of the columns here And after ID, I have the name, name of the columns, designation, and it is supposed to be cell. Right, so this program is very similar to the previous one, and uh, the only thing is we will be having a skill update uh, JSTL tag over here, so it will insert the record into the database. So, which record is supposed to be this one? And this is uh, this application is not going to have the dynamic data in the application, so it will uh, insert this record whenever the user loads the CMP.js application. And in the same procedure, in the in this program also we have followed the same procedure which we have did in our previous tutorial. That is called uh, we have created a SQL set data source variable dbcon which will be having database collection details here so the driver is supposed to be this driver com dot driver and URL, url is a jdbc colon mysql colon for slash localhost on the symptom username of the user is root and password is 123 and close the data source after that i will be having a SQL update and using the data source dbcon and variable is count so it will store the number of records that was added to the database and the SQL query which is nothing but used to select the record and stores the result into the result 
variable here and using that uh, result dot rows so we are obtaining the record from the database so just run this application Alright, so we are executed this application. Go for employee. So what happens? The record has been inserted and will be displayed to the user over here. So we don't have the record displayed here. So let let's see what happens. Alright, so here we have did a simple mistake that is called must must go for the call. And I can go with the with the critical is supposed to be seventy five percent. I'm going for the border as well, which is one px. Save this and run the application. All right. Click. All right. So it will be having the record so which is inserted here so previous in the previous execution so first rec this record has been inserted and this this has been inserted if you refresh this once again so it will be inserted with one more row so like this it will go on inserting the record which was given in this uh, statement which is nothing but inserted to this value if suppose if you are changing the record something like uh, this one and I can change the record, save this and uh, run this application one more time. Alright, so click on the employee, so you will be inserted with the new record. So if you click on refresh, go on refreshing, that record will be inserted. So each time the execution of emp.jsp. But so this is how the records are inserted into the database using JST text. So thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we can see how to delete the record from the database.